Kia ora, ko nai o toko ingoa, and I'm one of the conservation learning facilitators at Auckland Zoo and I'd love to show you how to make your own binoculars that you can use to go and look for manu. But first let's learn more about an amazing manu we have that have the most incredible eyes. Kia ora everyone, my name is Emily and this is Knox. And we've heard that you guys are learning a bit about binoculars. So we're going to tell you a little bit about Knox. And she actually has inbuilt binoculars. Because Knox is an owl, she is nocturnal, which means that she looks for her food at night. So to do that, she has really big eyes that help her see really well in the dark and they let her see food that is really far away, way down on the ground. So her eyes are really, really big, and that means that she can't actually move them like we can move our eyes. So we can move our eyes side to side, and we can even go cross-eyed and look right in front of our noses. But Knox can't do that, so she has to move her whole head just like she's doing now. And that's the same as when we look through binoculars. We have to move our whole head. Wow, thank you Emily for teaching us more about Nox Dururu and her incredible eyes. Now for this craft, you're gonna need some toilet paper rolls. Now, when I buy toilet paper or any paper product, I look for this logo, the FSC logo or the PEFC logo. That logo tells me that this paper has come from a sustainable source, which means it hasn't destroyed any habitats of animals living out in the wild. Now that's important to me because I love animals like the spider monkeys and I wanna make sure that their home is protected and I hope you do too. So always look for the FSC logo on your toilet paper or any paper products to look after animals in the wild. All right, let's make some binoculars so we can have eyes like a ruru as well. Did you create some awesome binoculars? Share them with us. We love seeing your creations. Anyway, we can't wait to see you back at the zoo. Kakatiano.